Okay, so I'm about to go into a uh, conference uh, and a worship conference today. Today's uh, my second night on this, but I was here last night um, and the pastor preached a wonderful message. And she said something that was very, very prophetic, very real, very insp uh, insp uh, inspiring. She said that sometimes we don't get the healing because we miss what God is trying to do for us by with our fear. Because we're so fearful of missing out on everything that's going in this world. That's why Romans 12 says, do not be conformed to the patterns of this world, but be transformed for the renewing of your mind. Sometimes we don't get the healing because we're so fearful of what's going on on social media, what's going on on Instagram, what's going on uh, in our everyday life with our friends, with our family, and we miss the time with, and period with time that's spent with God that we don't get the healing. She brought up the Travis Scott concert uh, about how they wanted us to keep on doing the show, keep on doing the show because they didn't want to miss out on the show. Uh, but sometimes we have to miss the show. We have to miss everything that's going on in this world so we can get where God wants to heal us. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I feel like if this is, uh, uh, comes up on your page, it was not an accident. Creating a relationship, and, and, and I'm adding this part, creating a relationship with God is very important because it teaches you discipline consistency i just posted that video uh earlier and it's on youtube you can look on my bio because some of us don't know the consistency and discipline that we're supposed to have and god is trying to show us that his way is so much better i don't know who i'm talking to but don't ever feel like you have to feel like you have to fit in and have to see what's going on Stop worrying about missing out and worrying about what God wants to do in this season. God bless you. Welcome to, I can't believe what I'm saying, it's the fourth week of creating a relationship with God. This is, I, I like I said, I, I can't believe this is our fourth week. Uh, I feel like the Lord told me uh, before you hit 25, I need you to go on your YouTube and um, talk about creating a relationship with God. Uh, and this is really just a journey about how I'm creating a relationship with God and how I'm just sharing with you. I can't make you love God uh, the way I do. I can't make you uh, do some of the things that I do. Uh, but, but really, I'm just here just to tell you that our salvation comes from God, no one else. There's no, no, no one else in mankind that we can look for. Um, you know, we, we try to look for all the things, but truth is, there's only one God. Uh, no other God is before, before him. He's a jealous God. And he's, and he's the reason why is that because only he can give you what you need. And that is why I am on this, uh, journey of, creating a relationship with God and I I just uh just so excited just to share the fourth one next week uh will be the week of my birthday uh so I will I will be posting on August 23rd on my actual 25th birthday uh but just in case is this your first time watching uh I of course for the past uh um uh, episodes I have been um really just um been uh sharing uh, a little recap uh so for first one uh, uh part one uh we really talked about how uh creating a relationship with god um and prayer 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 is uh is our number one that we do we must uh meditate on god's word day and night uh read our scripture read the devotion uh because every day the devil tries to kill still and destroy and wants to attack everything that uh that god is trying to have us to prosper and not fail uh number two we must even go to the throne of grace boldly i mean i mean boldly not tell god how we really feel when we feel anxious when we feel uh, uh tempted to do something that i uh, know is against god's will uh knowing that um he is our true salvation reading the scripture joshua 1 and 8 meditate on the word day and night we we, we gotta meditate the word that's why uh even uh, 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 
I was saying that uh, that faith, faith is uh, in Hebrews 11, which is uh, the confidence in which we hope uh, for and sure about what we do not see. So even if we don't see it, we have faith. We read the scriptures, we meditate on it, and we know that because of faith, we know that truly God will have uh, our best interest and do what's best for us. He will never fail us. He will never forsake us either. Week two, uh, and then and then and then we can be able to help others. James says, uh, in James chapter two says, "What's faith without works? Faith without works is dead. No deeds. Uh, there, there, uh, there, there's, there's, um, it's, it's dead. You might as well just uh, and I have faith, and that's why I'm on this, uh, on doing this channel and uh, doing these videos because uh, I want to share my faith with you." Because I want you to know that uh, because of faith, uh, you can uh, be saved. Uh, the, uh, the next week, week two, we talked about the having joy, peace, and love. Uh, we just got to rejoice. Rejo uh, when we're praying, praying with God, we, we can rejoice. Uh, that's a week two. You can go back on the channel and watch that week two video. Uh, I'm just giving a recap right now. Uh, talk about re uh, and and we got into Philippians four uh, four uh, chapter four four through six. Rejoice in the Lord always. Again, I say rejoice. Uh, uh, but but Paul is literally telling us to rejoice about everything and everything. Repetition and prayer, and that's the kind of joy that he gives us. He gives us the joy that is kind, that's loving, that's that's. Uh, suppressing all understanding there's joy there's, uh, in the book of Psalms it says this the day that the Lord has made let us rejoice and be glad in it uh, and then uh, no, and then again the peace uh, and John 14 26 says uh, but the African of the Holy Spirit whom the Father will send my, uh, in my name will teach you all things uh, and remind uh, you of everything I've told you peace I leave with you my peace I do I give to you I do not give what the world uh, gives do not let your hearts be troubled do not be afraid and then even John 3 uh, 16 30 and 33 I have told you these things so that you may have peace in this world and uh, um, but take heart I have overcome the world Jesus already overcome the world so you don't have to worry about anything love uh, know where I love from it comes from he loved this world so much he gave his only begotten son his only begotten son just so he that we don't he doesn't condemn the world but he shows how much he loves us how much he wants to forgive us uh, for all our transgressions and all our sins we fall short of God's glory every single day but yet he still loves us a supernatural love it's a love like no other human love more than your mother more than your father more than your cousins more than your brother more than a sister more than a pet whatever it may be god loves you more than that then we talked about last week discipline and consistency the consistency how uh when you do develop a pattern and a relationship with god and when you really know where the joy and the peace and the love comes from then you really you really begin to develop a relationship where you want a consistent where you because because now you know yourself because now begin you begin to know yourself where you're beginning to discipline yourself uh like i said i share it with y'all I, I i don't use social media on thursdays and saturdays i know turn the notifications off um before on the um Wednesday night going into leading into Thursday night uh, and praying over that I don't get tempted to do to, to go on it and I, my body knows because I'm disciplined and I know don't touch those eyes move my phone somewhere else Friday going into Saturday night. Uh, Saturday don't touch the phone on Saturday uh, and then Sunday morning I pray I do my prayer and then I go on and use my phone but I'm not tempt making sure I'm not tempted that uh, Saturday but waiting for Sunday, uh, and then I find out I didn't really miss anything, and then we'll talk about that a little bit, a little bit later. But now, uh, I want to talk about part four, uh, but overcoming fear. So I want to, uh, and, and, and I just really just want to show um, that we definitely got to get a devotion. This devotion will help a lot. I'm reading this devotion. This is the devotion I read at 5.30 in the mornings every day. And then, again, at our church, we're doing four pivots. Uh, it's about self-reflection. And that's pretty much what this is all about, self-reflection of 
how I want to show you how how God is using me now to uh, self-reflect so I can be able to help me and see where I fall short and where I can draw closer to God. So overcoming fear, uh, the book that we meditate on. <laughs> but uh, pro, pro, I, go, I wanted to just read a quick scripture. Proverbs um, 29, 25 says, Fear of man will not prove to be a snare, but whoever trusts in the Lord is kept safe. So God, God already has our back. So why why do we fear man man man, man that we're nothing they, we to be honest we're just we're all sinners we all fall short of the glory so why do we fear man why do we feel not telling people the gospel um, and then read real quick Psalms twenty seven says the the Lord is my light and my salvation whom shall I fear the Lord is my stronghold of my life and whom shall I be afraid then I'll go all the way down to six. Uh, when the wicked advocate against me are to devour me, it's my enemies and my foes who will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear through the war break against me. Uh, even when, even then, I will be confident. One thing I ask from the Lord, this only I do seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all of my days of my life and gaze of the beauty of uh, of the Lord and seek him in his temple for this the day uh, of trouble he will keep safe from his dwelling he will hide me in the shelter of his uh, sacred tent and set me upon a rock then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surrounded me uh, at his uh, sacred tent I will sacrifice with shout to joy I will sing and make uh, music to the Lord And I just want to share a couple points, but David, here, here in this, David was, uh, David praised God uh, for the help and the hope that uh, that was that he was providing. So we're nothing, nothing in this life uh, uh, to have fear over. There's nothing in this life to have fear over. Uh, when we put our trust in God, who's going to guide us, deliver us, and protect us from any danger and harm that uh, may come our way. Um, if we just continue to seek God, we uh, uh, we can be assured that when our problems come, He will watch over us and make us secure and draw us closer to Him. Real quick, I just want to pray for getting this a couple points. But Father God, Lord, I hope that this word, oh God, Lord, just touches somebody, oh God, Lord. The scripture, oh God, Lord, that we meditate day and night, oh God, I hope this touches somebody. God, Lord, we just, you said, faith without works is dead, Lord. This is our faith that we believe that you have called us to do this. Now, God, Lord, it's up, to, it's all, 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 all in your hands, oh God, Lord, to do the rest. We thank you and magnify you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. And I want to share that there's nothing to fear over. I remember I used to fear over people uh, not sharing my faith. Like I did not want to go on Instagram. I did not want to go on TikTok. I did not want to go on Facebook. Share my faith. Share that I'm in church. Uh, but now, 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 when I more I prayed and God was showing me that I want to break your fear, that's that's where I learned that now I find joy going on to, on Instagram, sharing the word because I believe that there is someone that God can heal. It's not about the likes. It's not about the uh, the the comments uh, that people are giving me, but it's about how how people need God and how that He is sending even the weak ones. Uh, that's why He says in Isaiah, uh, in a man of unclean lips, um, and a man that thought that he wasn't worthy enough to be in the kingdom, God still used him because He said, "Here I am, send me." Uh, and we all fall short of the glory. So why do we fear? We all fall short. It's not about saying that I, just because I'm a Christian, everything's all good. No, what it means is that I'm a Christian, but I need God's help just as much as you. That's why I got to be consistent. That's why I got to be uh, 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 um, um, a discipline uh, because I know what I know what comes out uh, 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 when when I'm not at church I know what happens when I'm not uh, recording or I'm not in my word I know what happens to me uh, 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 when that happens so when I'm consistent with it I don't have to fear it 
when I'm consistent with it. I don't have to fear going into going into to, to different places and praying for people, going to TikTok to pray for people, asking people about what their faith is, whether I'm at a school, whether I'm, uh, wherever I'm at or at my job, doesn't matter where I'm at. I, I, I'm asking for more. Now that I learned my fears, what I'm fearing that 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 it's not a religious aspect. Jesus never came for religious, uh, uh, for religion, but he kept the set set us free. That's why in Luke 15 he says that uh, he's looking for the one lost sheep. He led us to righteous, and the righteous were mad. But he wasn't caring about the ones who were never going to repent. But he was he was coming for the ones that uh, are, are going to repent and tell God, I need you, Father. That's what we need. That's why we don't need to fear because everyone needs the Father. Jesus says he's the truth, the life, and the way. Nobody can get to the Father except through him. Uh, but yet we don't go. We, we, we fear, one, we fear of going to him because we feel like because we, we're, we're imperfect that God can't use us. We feel like we got to get our life together uh, in order to uh, allow God to use us. But God says, here I am. Come to me like you are, and I will give you rest. All the brokenhearted, all the all, all, all the weary, and uh, everything, and I will give you rest because my yoke is easy and my burden is light. When we feel anxious, there's nothing, there's nothing that God cannot do. That's why he says, come to me uh, and everything, petition and prayer. Uh, the Bible is telling us to go out and make disciples uh, and, 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 and baptizing in the name of Jesus. Uh, and God, God is just looking for disciples. People that are willing to follow him, willing people that are willing to surrender to him, people are willing to to know oh, that he can change your life. What God has for you is for you. That's why we gotta listen and trust him, uh, and and because he's he's the only one that can prosper us and not fail us. That's that comes from Jeremiah twenty nine. Then when we trust him and we lean not on our own understanding, Proverbs three five. Then he could submit all, all of our ways. We submit all of our ways and he would direct our path. That's verse number six. This past weekend, I was at this conference uh, and Saturday, oh my God, it was just so amazing. Sunday was off the chain too. Sunday was just healing everything. And I was at the conference and the, 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 the pastor preached this and I tweeted this and I put this on my Instagram. <laughs> but she said, sometimes we, 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 we miss what God's trying to do, God's trying to heal us. God's trying to, God's trying to, 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 uh, 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 show us better that His ways are better. But yet we miss it because we can't stop the show. We can't stop what's going on in this world. That's why we can. That's why it says in, the, in Romans twelve, we do not conform to the patterns of the world, but we transform the renewing of our mind. Uh, 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 uh but is it because it's so easy? To worry about everything that's going on in the world. Sometimes we can't discipline ourselves because we're worrying about what's on Snapchat. We and that's why maybe maybe that's why it was so hard for me for so long to to to, to uh, and I, God was showing me that I had to turn off the notifications because because I learned that what I can't can't see where God is trying to take me. Because I'm worried about what's on the Instagram, who's posting what, what's this person doing? Uh, does this person have a boyfriend uh, or, or something? Uh, and, and, and we're worrying about the wrong relationship. We're fearing because I, I, I've been praying over a relationship. But God is saying I can't give you a wife until you draw a relationship with me. So now from what I was fearing... God is showing me that it's working together for uh, his good. He's showing me much better, that his ways are truly better. And sometimes we fear about what we're going to miss out. Because our friends. Because social media. We can't fear. We can't fear. And if you're fearing, I'm... I want to pray that you don't fear. I remember I was at that same conference, and I'm telling the story next week. But I was at the Must Be More conference, number the first one last year. I pray God that unlock, uh, break off the fear. And I remember if it wasn't for my pastor, we really had a deep conversation. 
that I was actually real didn't, didn't realize I was pivoting a year ago before I even started reading this book. That God was showing me new heights that I did not need to fear. But everything that God has for me now, that he's showing me the joy with it. Again, I'm not here to preach, but I'm here to just share the good news. That there's nothing that you can overcome fear with God by putting the fear which you're fearing of. And you talk to God how you feel. And God will show you how to do it. God will guide you through it. Because you never know who your story might be encouraging. That's why next week I want to share my story. Because I want to encourage you that God is real and God is who he says he is. Without a prayer that I prayed at the first conference, the second year this year, now I find myself praying another prayer, wanting more, wanting more because now I finally uh, developed that relationship. So now this is a whole year's journey. And now I know that I'm praying by 25, the best is truly yet to come. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, O oh God, Lord, for this, this time together. Thank you, Lord, for whoever watched this. Bless that whoever watched this, whatever they may be fearing, God, Lord, I ask you, O oh God, Lord, to touch it. Guide them. Use them, O oh God, Lord, for where you need them. We love you in Jesus' name. That there is no fear. There is no anxiety. But we can come to you in prayer and petition. For we'll work together for your good. We thank you in Jesus' name. Refine us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I bless you. And next time I will see you August 23rd. God bless you.